the Taoist uh, medicine wheel, page 46. And basically, we're going to be bringing this to life, this Taoist medicine wheel to life today. Kind of similar, if those of you that were a part of the morning uh, group that I led back in November, I brought in some elements of this, but we're going to go even, uh, even deeper today. And then on page 131, you also have the six healing sounds. And then just based on how we're feeling, I may just include a seventh sound that's actually related to bone marrow. So not included in our workbook, but just something that could be great to use if you wish. Um, but on that note, I would like to just hear from those I want to share. What is What have you been doing or how have you been utilizing marrow washing and sound healing into your uh, personal and or teaching practices. So again, just remember you need to unmute yourself, and then if you can, mute yourself, again, just to reduce any echoing. The floor is open. So I'll start. Uh, so I use marrow washing and sound healing just about every day, and there's different ways to do it. You know, obviously it comes from many different traditions. You have Native American traditions, you have the shamans of the you know, all the way down into the Central and South Americas that have incorporated some aspect of bringing in all the directions of the earth, you know, all the way to the, you know, probably in the Egyptians and the Chinese and so forth. So these traditions cultivate and permeate through all and many different societies. And so you can use this however works best for you. And so I find what I love is bringing in all the directions and then even the elements, the colors, the sounds, even the emotions is what we're going to even go into a little bit today during our group practice. And then I just, I love sound healing. There's just something definitely just about the, the frequency of sound, how it can clear, how it can tonify, you could even sedate, you know, so there's so many different rich ways of being able to use these practices. And so I, Love you to use them in the morning, in the evening, throughout the day, and then in group practice. It's just a fun way to add something else to your, you know, your, your teaching practices as well. So on that note, is there anyone else that would like to share? Please. Uh, yes, I, I'd like to share. I, I use sound all the time. Um, well, frequently. I use it sort of spontaneously. Um, I, I can be on the treadmill and I'll use sound. I sometimes use it in terms of um, uh, chanting uh, a um, uh, a mantra or a or a sound, you know, a, um, a Tibetan um, mantra or something. But but I'm using it in a particular way, uh, and I use uh, sometimes other uh, just like um, nonsense sounds. I just I just met. I just make, uh, I, I sort of play with the, my mouth and I'm listening to the reverberation and I'm feeling the effect sort of intercranially and also vibrationally or uh, orically. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm feeling the, the, I'm feeling the, the, the space around me. The space and, around me. Yes. So, so anyway, that's it. Oh, that's uh, great. No, thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing. Sure. Sure. Just in front of my, my face. <laughs> What's that? I, I, I say, well, I need to just find on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Did you want to share anything else, Patrick? No, no, that 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 was that was good. No, that, that was good. For me, it's um, it's been kind of. Yeah, can kind you mute yourself, please? Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, for for me, it's been sort of spontaneous, and it's also been um, drawing from many different traditions. Um, I guess uh, I, I'm just very aware of the the value of sound, which is vibration, and the the use of the vocal cords, the human vocal cords, your own, to create. Um, to create energy, to create healing, to create uh, resonance, uh, and um, yeah. So I don't. Know. I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it with that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you for sharing, uh, Juanita. Did you want to share? Just remember to unmute yourself. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, yes. So I use the 
six healing sounds just about every, you know once a week when I have my class and the my participants they really enjoy it because I usually give them a choice well you want to do this or that you know and and they always want to do the healing sounds and they find a lot of uh, you know a lot of healing in that um, and you know for myself as far as the directions in my tradition with like with the dance we do that's what, how you start it you start off you know honoring the four directions bringing in all the elements and then you end it that way too so i think that's something uh you know very powerful like you say that is shared by many many different uh traditions but i think that that sound like that reverberation that vibration it, you know it, it can create a lot of you know a lot of healing in your body you know just so i i like to do that i enjoy it and yes i do use sound a lot thank you Okay. Yeah, thank you, Juanita. And just to ask, uh, like, you know, Juanita mentioned where, just want to know, like, for purposes of uh, in your teaching practice, because sometimes it's good for all of us to hear what we're doing, so it gives us more ideas. I like, you know, sound can be used at different points of a practice, but definitely I probably lean towards a lot of times using it towards the end of a practice. So does anyone do anything different when it comes to uh, sound healing as far as where you place it in your practices whether personal or when you're teaching i've not yet incorporated it into my classes uh because it seems like an hour goes by so fast it's hard to fit in everything that we are doing so i would be open to anyone's ideas on incorporating the sound widths in combination with something else because so far you know, what I've been doing, everybody wants that, and then some of the other things I've done. But on a personal note, I really enjoy doing the chakra healing sounds. And I also like to incorporate uh, a Sanskrit mantra as part of my meditation. It's very healing. There are these ancient healing sounds from Sanskrit that are specific for certain emotions or certain parts of the body or certain healing energies and i find them really effective nice yeah thank you for sharing and like i said there's so many wonderful traditions that have different ways of incorporating this of course we're going to go through more of an integral model you know as it is today but obviously this is rooted in you know ancient chinese wisdom but bringing in all traditions and all wisdoms as well um before we get started is there anyone else that just wanted to share uh how you have been incorporating marrow washing, sound healing, whether personal and or in your teaching practices? Michael, I, um, so the marrow washing I will use uh, just for myself when I'm practicing and I find when I go outside, because a lot of times I practice at home, but when I go outside and I'm really like in nature and I turn it all four directions and I do the marrow washing, I do really feel you know, just a difference with the chi in my body. Um, and one thing I just wanted to share is I've also been doing this, because I'm a psychologist, I've been doing this somatic therapy training over the last year and a half. And it's interesting that most of the people who use it therapeutically, I mean, use somatic healing, will use particularly the VU sound, VU, and when I do this with clients in my office, and sometimes I will combine it with a Qigong posture, but even if they're just sitting and I have them grounding and they get very, very activated, maybe by a past trauma, when they start repeatedly connecting to their breath and using VU, it is dramatic how it calms their nervous system. I can literally, it just happens in front of me and they can feel it, so. Just wanted to share that little anecdote. Yeah, thank you, that's amazing. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. So wherever you are, uh, we're just gonna go right into a group practice. And just as uh, you know, Katrina mentioned, this is just a way where I'm gonna interweave all this. So the marrow washing, bringing in all the directions, the organs, the sounds, even the emotions. It's all gonna be just one flowing practice today. And when it comes to the sound, we're gonna do the sounds that probably in three different phases. So there's gonna be a normal, you know, singing tone, whatever your single t singing tone is. So you can imagine you're in a shower if you want, if that works. And then that's, that's what activates, can activate the earth body medicine. And then we have the heart mind, which is more of a whisper. And then the spirit, if you want to cultivate more of a spiritual internal nigang, 
then it's more the sound internally, letting the sound reverberate uh, in silence. And it's amazing how powerful that is as well. And so on that note, just wherever you are sitting, standing, lying down, I'm gonna be seated for now. I might stand up at some point or I may sit. And so just start opening your feet into the ground, visualize sending roots, connecting with earth medicine, and then at the same time, opening up the top of your head into the heavens. And just feel yourself bringing in divine wisdom, divine love, and divine light, and all of nature's healing resources to your heart mind. And just allow your inner wisdom, your inner physician to guide you wherever this medicine wants to go and whatever it's needed for. And as you're feeling into that, whatever your needs are, what is your intention for today? What is it that you want to achieve? Also going to use four baskets of practice throughout today. So bring in those three intentful corrections. First intentful adjustment, adjusting posture. And so again, sending, rooting your tailbone, setting those roots into the earth and feeling and visually feeling how far can you go into the earth? Can you go at least one body length, maybe two, or all the way to the core? And then at the same time, allowing your head to rise and connect into the heavens, connecting with that spirit medicine. And then just bringing in as well as you're rooting and connecting above, just feeling a nice stretch in between. Sometimes we get little kinks along our spine and you can just move a little bit or shift. If you feel like that helps, you don't have to be still. This is your practice. And so with that second intentful adjustment, Deepening breath, and so as you're deepening your breath, drawing in all of nature's healing resources through those roots to your heart, mind, and at the same time, drawing in all of that divine wisdom, divine light, and divine love, where it all meets and then mixes into that elixir, which then expands wherever it's needed, within you and all around you. And then the third intentful adjustment is clearing the mind. You can visualize an internal smile or externally smile. I just had a vision of us just all being in a sacred ceremony just around a beautiful fire dancing and cultivating together, being at peace, but just wherever it is that you find peace. Maybe that's being on a mountain or being near the ocean.
And so with marrow washing, you can do this seated, standing, lying down. I'm going to remain seated. You can do this still, or you can bring in, as we do in the seventh phase of nine phases, storing chi. I'm going to start with some stillness and then bring in the storing chi posture, but you do what works best and feels best for you. I'm going to start with, since we are the center, we're going to bring in cultivating the earth element, which is related to all seasons. You can visualize you're surrounded by the color yellow or even gold. And maybe just another color comes up and just to honor that. The primordial animal often associated with the earth element in medical Qigong is the eagle. Visualize even a soaring eagle above, guiding and protecting you. The organs that are associated with the center and the earth element are the stomach, which is yin in nature, and then, I'm sorry, the spleen, my bad, spleen is yin, and then the stomach is yang in nature. So you can even ask while you are marrow washing, storing chi, what does your spleen or your stomach need in order to be okay? Does it need anything physically, maybe nutritionally, metabolically? Is there anything emotional that it needs support with? Sometimes the emotions that are associated with these organs are worry. And then also even concentration. And so sometimes in order to be able to move from worry into concentration, we need trust. So what do you need in order to have trust? If it's something physical, if it's even emotional, or even spiritual, you can call on divine consciousness, whatever that might be for you. Call on Universal consciousness, planetary consciousness, you name it. Literally, the sky is the limit. And so the sound, we're going to start with the cultivating earth medicine, so it's going to be your normal singing tone, and if you can have your microphones on mute, just so we don't have an echo, please. I don't promise that I have a good singing voice, so I can't promise anything. But we're going to start with the normal singing tone, which cultivates earth body medicine. Then we're going to do a whisper, which cultivates heart mind. And then we're going to end with some nagang, some internal alchemy in silence emitting the frequency. And so the sound is it's W H O as in woo or who. And again different traditions have different sounds. We're just honoring 
these integral methods. And so deep inhale. And you're on timing, inhaling into the shape of your body. We're going to whisper. And then third time, last time, cultivating our center earth element in silence. And you can also change directions if you want to face a particular direction on these next four. I'm going to remain facing, I'm facing west, but you can visualize facing whichever direction that you would like, or you can physically turn in that direction. So next we're going to cultivate the south, direction of south, which is related to summer which is what we are in the middle of and related to the fire element. You can visualize a color red, the primordial animal and again, Chinese, classical Chinese medicine, medical Qigong, is the red phoenix. And then the organs, the yin organ is the heart. The yang organ is the small intestines. So often the emotions that can be associated with both of these organs can be resentments and also the flip side, which is joy. And often to be able to move into joy, to move from resentment, there is an acceptance. that is to be affirmed. And so again, you can ask if there's anything you feel you're holding on to, any resentments, maybe even some hate. What do you need to move into that joy? It might be something else than acceptance. Is it something physical? Is it emotional? And also, is it spiritual? And what do you need in order to be able to move into that joy? And so the sound that we're going to bring in, I've, I've heard different sounds, so what we're again just honoring the integral way is the word ha as in H-A-A. -A. Bringing in the fire element, southern direction, related to summer and cultivation. And so deep inhale. Uh,
And now at a whisper, wherever you are. And in silence. Now bring it in the direction of the north, related to the season of winter, water element. Visualize the color blue. And the organs that are related to the water element are the kidneys, which are yin, and the urinary bladder, which is yang. And the emotions that are often associated with these particular organs are fear, even anxiety. and also courage. And at times in order to be able to move from these fear and anxieties into courage, there is will. And often one that really speaks to me is faith. But feel that what is it that you need? If there's been anything that's been creating fear or anxieties, what do you need be able to move into a place of courage. Again, you need something. Is it physical in nature? Is it emotional, even spiritual? We're all one. So the sound that we're going to emit is shrewee, as in C H R U E E. So deep inhale into the shape of your body. Shrewee. Now we're bringing that heart mind medicine with a whisper. And then third time. And spirit, medicine, internal nagam in silence.
Next, we're going to be bringing in the direction of the east. So if you wish to visualize yourself facing east or actually turn facing east, please do. It's related to the season of spring, the wood elements, which is related to the liver and the gallbladder, liver being yin, gallbladder being yang in nature. Visualize the color green. And often the primordial animal that is associated with the wood element is the dragon. It sometimes can often be greenish blue as well. And so often the river gallbladder can hold some frustration, some anger. This is an opportunity to feel where have you been experiencing this and what do you need in order to have clarity? Oftentimes a way to move through that is by forgiveness. Even that saying of giving yourself permission. You can just feel, is there anything physical? Or is it emotion? Or is it of a spiritual origin? Or maybe a combination? And with the next sound, Allow that sound, that frequency to go wherever it needs. The sound is shu, as in S-H-U-U. So deep, deep breath in into the shape of the body. Shu. And we're going to bring in the direction of the west, related to the season of fall. The metal element, lungs and large intestines, large intestines being yang, lungs being yin. Color often associated is the color white. You can visualize or feel tonifying, clarifying, even sedating white light wherever it's needed. And some of the emotions that can manifest related to this is sadness, even grief. Also caring, and a way to be able to move at times through that sadness and grief into caring is by cultivating inner strength. And so again, just trusting your healer within, your inner wisdom,
what is it that you need in order to be able to move from any unresolved sadness or grief into caring? So the sound that we're going to emit is a sound ah as in a h h. Now that I'm standing, I'm just going to come back to center. So whether you're seated or standing, lying down. Just always like to give gratitude and give thanks to all the directions. Thank you for your wisdom and your guidance, your support and your love. So that was the first part of our group practice. And since we are going into next month with tendon changing forward and Tai Chi walking today, we're going to continue with four vascular practice. We're going to do a little tendon changing just to get some movement as well. And so wherever you are, sitting, standing, lying down, we're going to start by going into our opening sequence. And so again, bringing in those three intentful corrections, adjusting posture, deepening breath, clearing mind. I'm going to turn to, let's see, Mary's side, but you, go, you can step out whichever direction works best for you. So we're going to inhale, bringing in that earth medicine to the heart. And then exhale, expanding out. And back to the heart, relax. And then again, pushing any barriers away that make your bird hands. Relax. And timing your breath if you can. Again, expanding on the exhale, but if you're inhaling, that's fine. And now spread your fingers out wide and drive your pinky finger towards the front of the room. Getting a nice stretch all along the back part of the arm. It really helps to open up the small intestinal channel among many different channels. And then relax. And then last time, expanding, pressing, spreading fingers wide, and now drive the thumbs back. Gently squeezing scapulas together without raising your shoulders. 
and then relax. Now we're going to expand up, lifting up, lifting if there's anything residual weight in the world, on your shoulders, imagine freeing yourself. Did we lose Michael? Yes, I've lost Michael. Me too. I did also. I thought he was standing a long time in that stance. <laughs> and I realized. Hey, is everyone still there? Is everyone still there? Yeah, yeah. yeah we've got you yeah. in. Got you. Okay. Yeah, I got kicked off again. Yeah, I got kicked off. Yeah, I keep losing. Yeah. If everyone can, uh, if everyone can uh, mute, mute yourself. Mute, mute yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Let's try this. Let's, Let's try this. Using my phone. Using my phone. <laughs> Uh, uh, anyway, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with this. Go with it. <laughs> All right. Sorry about All that. All right. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and bring so in tendon changing form. Tendon changing form. And I know we were at the yeah. going above. And going so again, above. this is an opportunity to bring three and ten forms. And then now let's right, add then now let's into the heart. Into the heart. And then we expanded and then we expanded. I'm gonna put off at burning fingers wide. Fingers wide. Fingers down. Fingers down. Fingers down. Fingers down. Fingers down. 
And then relax. And then relax. And then deep inhale into the shape of the head. Bringing up. And then fingers wide, drawing the fingers wide, drawing the pinkies to the ground. And then relaxing. And then relaxing. And deep inhale, pressing forward, pressing forward. And then, and then, bringing that energy back to the heart. And then again, expanding. Creating healthy boundaries, healthy relationships. Again, your bird hands. Rotate from the shoulders, get a little stretch and almost internal massage. And again, expanding, expanding wide, wide, the body. Then last one forward. And now driving the pinkies backwards, thumbs forward. It's on mute. And then last series for the upper body, the inhale. And then palms facing down, pressing down, contracting, contracting. And then relaxing, allowing that expansion to occur. Un momento. I think Juanita might I need to mute. I'm muted. Okay. I'm muted okay. myself again. Back up 
and then pressing down. Fingers wide, now drive thumbs up towards the navel. Almost like, I guess, making a bodybuilder position. Pose. And then relax. And then last time. Now driving pinkies towards the sky, thumbs down. And we'll just shake that out for a bit. Next, we're going to do the leg sequence. And just end with a little bit of a closing, and then we'll talk for a bit. So, again, just find your place, whether you are sitting, standing, or lying down. I'm going to be standing. I might even sit for a bit. Three intentful adjustments. And now deep inhale. I'm going to bring my weight onto my left leg. You can do whichever side. And then kick your leg out. You can even touch the ground if you want for some support. But drive your toes towards you. Squeezing your quads gently. And then back. And then deep inhale, driving the leg forward, and now pointing your toes. And then back. If you want to cultivate balance, you can keep your feet off the ground. And then when you're ready, driving the heel leg out, driving the pinky toe towards the ground, big toe up towards the sky. And then back. And then one more time forward with the whichever leg you're on. I'm on my right leg. And I'm driving the big toe down, little toe towards the sky. And then back. You can just shake that out a little bit. Sometimes standing leg gets a little, little fatigue. And now we're going to go lateral. So deep inhale. Drive the leg out, extending, driving the toes towards. The front and then back and then out again pointing again you can touch the ground and then back and then when you extend out again driving the big toes if you're trying to drive it towards the sky and then back And then last one to this side, driving the big toe towards the ground, little toe towards the sky, and then back. Again, shake that out a little bit. You can do a little spontaneous chiyun, and then going to end going backwards on whichever leg you're on. And so deep inhale, driving back, toes towards the sky. And then back to center. And then again, driving back, you need to squeeze your glutes. Squeeze the legs and now point your toes. And bringing it back, relaxing. And now again, driving back, try to drive the toe. It's almost like the toe is coming forward, big toe. And then back. And then one more time, driving that leg back, creating your base, and now visualize feeling the toe trying to, pinky toe trying to come forward. And then back. And then again, just shake that out a little bit. Getting that good circulation, self massage in effect. Now we're going to do the other side. I'm going to, my right leg is going to be standing leg, left leg is going to be the one doing the work. Actually, both are. Just a different way. And so deep inhale, driving the foot forward, toes come towards the sky, or even you could visualize coming towards the front of your body. Squeezing the quads gently, bringing out any tension, and then back. Again, this time 
doing your pigeon toes, your ballet feet. And then back. And then driving the big toe towards the sky. Again, might have some balance. So again, you put your foot on the floor. And then back, and then last one, deep inhale. Shape of the body, create your base, and then press and then drive the big toe towards the ground. Pinky toe comes up. Feel this all the way up into the hip, even all the way up the lateral chain. You're doing wonderful things for your entire body. Check that out. We're gonna go lateral again. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk for this remaining these remaining stretches. You go at your own pace. And so then again, check that out a little bit. We're gonna go reverse. And then just come back to center. Let's just do a little bit of a, bringing the temple gong a bit. Done a lot of good, good work today with narrow washing, bringing in all the directions and the sounds. Just as in life, sometimes things can throw your curveball, just as in technology does, so you just roll with it. But I'm gonna try to figure this out since it's happened, I believe, two out of the last three sessions. We'll get that figured out. And then let's just do a little, let's do a little shaking. And just move however you feel it in your body. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, just wants to move right now. All right, well, thank you for uh, joining me today and everyone here. Uh, appreciate all of you being here, but uh, we do have a little bit of time. Just if anyone wants to share uh, what you experienced during our session, uh, throughout the session today, and then also uh, mainly want to just hear about you know, your, your experiences during Mirror washing, bringing in all the directions, the colors, the sounds, you know, you name it. Um, well, we have about a good 10, 10 minutes, so remember you need to unmute yourself and then please share. Or I can start again. <laughs> I can start. I really, who's that? It's Carmen. I can start. I really enjoyed this. I'm going to incorporate this into the teachings that I'm doing. It never occurred to me to bring this into the classroom. So this was just very, very inspiring. Thank you so much. And thank you everybody for coming. I love seeing your faces. Yeah, thank you, Carmen. And it's been a, it's been a pleasure. And I, I, I will echo that sentiment as I love and appreciate being able to see each of you each month. So. Um, anyone else just want to share what you experienced today during our session? Uh, yes, I would like to Michael. Go ahead. 
Devna, I haven't been able to join you for a couple of months now. And um, I, I actually had to join the class late because there was a training today. And just feel that you are much more um, present and in charge. And um, that was really good. <laughs> really good. Um, thank you so much. And I'm very grateful for that little um, um, hiccup with the technology because I got to see everybody. <laughs> so it's lovely to see you all. It's lovely to be in your company again and enjoying these practices together. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Dina. And that's one thing as uh, you know, I've often heard, you know, over, you know, the past 20 years just being in the work that I do and everything is the more that I'm just speaking for myself that I push myself out there to teach, I learn, <laughs> you know, so this has been a wonderful, not only being able to connect with all of you, but it just led to so many other avenues to where, you know, as you said, just being more comfortable, you know, speaking you know, in front of people and even being in a room, you know, with, uh, you know, with Chris here as my tech guy, but yeah, it just, it, you know, and it just, it brings up to say, if there's anything that you've been wanting to do, please do it. Yeah, don't, don't wait, don't wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good message. <laughs> Anyone else want to share just what you experienced? Uh, I would just be interested to hear, uh, if you don't mind, Juanita, just sharing anything you experienced. Well, yes, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, Michael, for, uh, you know, taking the time to do this. And it is wonderful to see everyone and hope to see you in, what, in April, right, in Austin? Uh, so what I was going to say is that I was doing my classes on Thursdays and because I have some meetings on Thursdays, I was doing it maybe every other, you know, missing a couple of Thursdays, but I decided to change the class to Tuesday. So now until every Tuesday I've been having the class for like the past three months. And I think it really has, uh, just created more of a commitment in myself and I can just see how the classes are going better. Um, um, you know, more at ease. And I think everybody's really appreciating it a lot more. But for myself, as far as the, the tendon changing practice, on Thursday, um, I was I stopped at a light in my SUV and I turned green. I was crossing over the intersection and a lady, her sandal got stuck in the gas and she, and she T-boned me. Anyway, so I was really sore uh, the last two days, especially today. So the tendon changing practice, that really helped me today. I can feel, you know, just all my ligaments kind of stretching. And so physically that helped me a lot. So, you know, I want to thank you for that. And uh, yes, so thank you. That's all I have to say. And I enjoy having these practices and um, hope to be here in the next couple of months also. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, because it was just, okay. uh, it was wild, but I know it's, it's part of the, like when we were opening, I, just all of a sudden we were like all like I just felt a, a medicine wheel <laughs> like we were all around just uh, you know a very like a very sacred ceremony uh, so it was, it was beautiful and I, and I love that just like that's the power of this even even with technology so uh, um, we got about five more minutes anyone else just want to share just what you what you experienced today what you have going on you know because it's always great just to you know share things that you got upcoming and also just what you experienced today. I'll share um, a, a few things, just a great appreciation for uh, these um, gatherings, these, uh, <clears throat> I consider them like Sangha uh, gatherings. Um, you know, we're gathering virtually, but it's, for me, it's very, um, it's very central, it's very vital in a way. And I also, I also like your sharing about your, your, your the vision you had of, being around a circle of, with a can, uh, fire, Michael. Um, uh, I've had that sort of vision before, um, and 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 I, I can really resonate with that um, in a very deep way. And I, I don't I don't have much specific to say about what I'm you know what the plans are or or whatever, but just that these are these sessions are like are for me are recharging and renewing and um, gathering times, remembering times, uh, sacred times. So there's a great value for me. Uh, and um, 
and, and I know that, that everything I get here goes out with me in, in everything I do, even if it's not directly teaching or practicing Qigong with people or, or Tai Chi, but it, um, through the work I do, through the, through the words I speak, through the energy that I am, what get, gets gathered here goes out and is disseminated, goes out through me in a sense. Uh, and I'm, I'm aware of that and I'm grateful for that. And I'm, I'm all for having that increase in, in me and in everyone, in all of us, you know, because we are all uh, vessels of light or um, of uh, distribution outward in, in, our, in our various uh, circles and, and, and communities. We are uh, light distributors, I'll say. Uh, light is flowing through us. And, um, and I really appreciate that. And, and, and value the, the tribe, the, the gathered, virtually gathered tribe, seeing your faces, uh, um, everyone, Juanita, Carmen, uh, everyone who was, some of the people who were here, D D Dimpna. Yeah, so thank you, thank you all. Yeah, no, thank you, uh, Jeff. I mean, you echo exactly what I was feeling even this morning, you know, it's like I love being able to share each month. And this morning was, you know, wasn't a challenge per se, but I was just tired, you know, tired from the week, you know, just from work, from moving. And I just, uh, you know, I had a feeling it's like, just get yourself there, <laughs> you know, because I'm, I'm someone that does a lot of, you know, self-individual cultivation. And probably some of you can recall, you know, I – I like to interact with the group and then I like to do my own thing. You know, I like to practice on my own. That's just how I practice. But this was like an special great reminder of being able to cultivate a group energy, even via this long, you know, long distance. That's why the, the, the visual, the, the medicine wheel and the fire was so powerful for me. It's because I could feel our group energy just help restore balance in me which was fantastic. So again, I want to thank each and every one of you for that, for being with me today, because you, you helped recharge me. So thank you. Mm -hmm. So on that note, let's just uh, end with a little closing, closing meditation like we've done. It's just that whether you're sitting, standing, lying down, feeling yourself opening those roots, and then opening your head to that divine, light, divine wisdom, and divine love, and all of those nature's healing resources, and then if there was any intentions you had at the beginning of the session, or you just have in general of things that you want to achieve, just ask yourself now, what do you need to affirm it? And I just feel to say... Thank you, everyone. Continue to please share your gifts. This has been such an honor. It's been such a learning experience, and I look forward to seeing you soon. So everyone have a wonderful day and wonderful weekend. Thank you, Michael. Everybody have a great day. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Thank you family. Thank you, Michael. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Emily, Monica, great to see you. You too. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.